In our basement, we have six large plastic tote bins filled with photographs and albums. This is a shared collection between my husband and myself, and it is all mixed up. There is absolutely no organization, and it is a mess. Welcome to the video. My name is Erica Lucas, and I share videos about making life simple one day at a time. We have just thrown photographs in these bins over the years, and we also have organized photograph albums that my mother built, and they are in our living room library upstairs, sitting on the shelves, and the kids enjoy looking through those. So that this pile right here that you're seeing in this video doesn't even include the hundreds of photographs in a dozen large albums upstairs that the kids look through. I came down here today in the basement to organize photographs, at least start on that project anyway, and deal with this massive stack of photographs and disorganized mess. I want to get rid of many of them. I intend to get rid of many of them by either scanning them digitally, trashing them, or choosing a select few to keep and putting them in albums for, for us to enjoy. But I'm not ready. I feel like I'm forcing it and it's too hard to declutter when I see pictures of my brother still. He died a few months ago, earlier this year, and I'm just not ready yet to look at these pictures and celebrate his, his life completely when I work on this project. And I feel guilty for not organizing these photographs right now because I want to do it. I feel bad because I should want to celebrate his life rather than feel the weight of his loss still but we don't dictate grief's timeline. We don't know when it's gonna sweep back around and get us like it is right now for me. So I had to let go of that intention of the need to organize these photographs, the need to declutter. I had to let go of that feeling. And the thing I actually need to declutter today was not photographs. The thing I needed to declutter today was intangible. It's the expectations I have for myself. The expectation that I would conquer photograph organization easily now, three years into minimalism, that decluttering would be easy for me. And the expectation that it that I could do this easily had to be let go of. I would really love some help with this project. If you guys could comment below with ideas for photograph organization that you have tried or you're thinking about trying, something that'll give me some ideas to wrap my head around this project of six bins filled with photographs and albums. How do you display and keep photographs? And do you have a special digital scanner? Uh, you know, I got a lot of thoughts swimming in my head about photograph organization and I would love to hear from you guys what your ideas are and I think that might help me mentally wrap my head around this project. I'm, I had to dig deep and give myself permission to not work on this project today. Permission to keep on grieving and not deal with this pile of photographs. Permission to let this massive disorganized mess stay this way until I am ready permission for it to continue to be a mess. And that is the opposite of what I have been trying to achieve with decluttering and minimalism. I do, I have figured out how to live with a daily mess, having three young kids and a family and we live in this house. Messes happen. I have learned to accept the messes and we can tidy them very quickly now, easily, when it comes to toys and books and projects upstairs in the house. But I had to give myself permission to not declutter today permission to leave a mess. On this channel, we often talk about decluttering tactics and inspiration, and today's video is a variation of this, I guess, recognizing personal boundaries for our minds and our hearts is important. Forcing ourselves to overcome emotions when we declutter can work sometimes. We can push through guilt, through shame, through fear, through the what if. We can push through that when we're tackling decluttering projects, but we have to do it when we are ready. So what happens when we can't push through the emotions that are holding us back from decluttering? Sometimes emotional, mental work has to be done before the physical work can begin. 
and I have had success in pushing through guilt on many decluttering projects. And a little momentum has spun into a lot of motivation for me in the past and motivation then fuels my physical progress. But sometimes we just are not ready to let go even when we want to. I have wanted to work on these photograph bins since we compiled them into this zone in the basement as we were unpacking when we moved here. I do not want to have this many bins of photographs. I want them organized in albums or photo boxes in our home, in our life to enjoy. I don't want them in the basement. I want to identify the photographs to keep, the photographs to scan digitally, the photographs to trash. But today is not that day and the weight of the project is just too heavy in my heart right now. And sometimes giving ourselves permission to not declutter can actually be exhausting. Like we're giving up or avoiding the work. And sometimes there's considerable amount of mental pre-work, spiritual homework, or even heart-focused healing that needs our attention first. And sometimes the piles can wait until we're ready. And Today, me trying to be okay with not decluttering feels awkward. It's uncomfortable for me as a minimalist now, especially when I want to do this project. This feeling is taking me back to the beginning of my journey three years ago, when I struggled to know what and how to declutter anything, how to even start, what actions to take. This video is more vulnerable than my other ones. It's more personal for me, but I know many of us struggle with piles and decluttering decisions, with the guilt that comes from decluttering and the guilt that comes from not decluttering. I hope this video was helpful for you today. Thank you for sharing part of your day with me. And here's another video.